My name is John Parker Hammond. I was born on March 14th, 1928. What follows is a record of certain events in which I took part between the years 1980 and 1997 on an island I will call Site B. One of the most important ingredients in a Jurassic Park film is, in my opinion, John Hammond. The man became an icon the instant audiences first viewed him in the original film, and it's sad that he only got to return in the second movie briefly, and didn't get to reprise his role in the further entries. We often talk and view these Jurassic movies as nothing more than dinosaur action and scary moments with large sharp-toothed carnivores, but when you get down to the series Soul, you'll find a short bearded man with a Scottish accent and a big smile ready to awe you with incredible prehistoric animals he's painstakingly brought back to life. His story is explored rather briefly, however no less amazing in the first film, and we get to see a glimpse of the man behind this ingenious place. The determination and will he shows the audience is as fascinating as it is equally heartbreaking when he's unable to accept the reality of his life's dream ruined by an uncontrollable system with too many variables and too much reliance on technology. John Hammond is an incredible character, brought to life perfectly by Richard Attenborough and enjoyed by billions of people across the planet. Yes, billions. Something most people are unaware of, however, is how often he would reprise his role for portrayals outside of the film series and within the merchandising and media release for the ravenous masses to consume. The most intriguing of which, in my experience, is his voiceover work in Trespasser Jurassic Park. This was a PC game released back in 98, and saying it was ahead of its time is an understatement. Imagine a first-person adventure game in a fully 3D open environment with numerous different enemy types, complex AI, no HUD, a full physics system, and state-of-the-art graphics set within the Jurassic Park universe. Now imagine John Hammond himself is speaking to you while you play the game. Unfortunately, the game was rushed to market and was sold with numerous bugs, game-breaking glitches, and a physics system so ridiculously accurate that if you nudged your gun on something, it would literally fall out of your hands. An incredible attempt, but no cigar. There are patches and fan mods out there that fix a lot of the problems this game had when it first came out though, and if you're interested in this little piece of gaming history, I would strongly suggest at least checking it out on YouTube for the hell of it. The real shining work of art within the game, however, is the incredible writing and performance of John Hammond in his memoirs in which he recites. It is absolutely incredible and builds the world of Jurassic Park far greater than any of the films really could do due to the fact that they all rack focus on our younger protagonists and their scuffles with dinosaurs. In Trespasser, however, John Hammond's complete history with his company Engine is told and it is an incredible story to say the least. All my life I'd waited for something great, something extraordinary. And then it opened up. The cold red true. The barrier of time for, for an instant opened. Nature and I stared into the monitor. Straight back through six. I began to have my first inkling of the seriousness of our work, how deep the well was. This was life from 65 or 100 million years before mankind. From the first dinosaur they hatched all the way up to the acquisition of the office of CEO by his villainous nephew is detailed in a great sub-story that really shows how essential this character is for the franchise and how likable he is as a person to the audience. The hunters landed on May 13th, 1997, deep in the island's southwest. Most of them had worked at my African parks for years. They never stood a chance. Hunting dinosaurs is quite a tricky business. I recommend helicopters, if you've got them. John Hammond's memoirs don't need to be heard only from the video game though. In fact, if you want, every single line of dialogue he speaks has been uploaded onto YouTube and it is definitely worth your time if you're a fan of Jurassic Park. 
These events may or may not be canon. I'm fairly certain they aren't. However, they don't discredit anything that has happened in future films yet, and it's voiced by Richard freaking Attenborough, so you really can't go wrong. There's something special about hearing John talk about these events and how they affected not only him, but the world as well, and it's fascinating to peer into the mind of such a well-loved character. All you gotta do is type in John Hammond's memoirs and you'll be treated with a plethora of awesome stuff for fans. You're welcome. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video guys, it means a lot to me, and if you're interested in seeing more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any content like this in the future. As always guys, take it easy.